Fox Sports commentator Colin Cowherd. We are returning to him. Uh, I've done a couple segments on him, and it's interesting because the sports audience is mixed politically, but you can imagine a lot of Trumpers. And then the Fox Sports, obviously that's sort of the same, but you picture Fox also. But he often has these little moments of, in a very relatable way, realizing what's ridiculous about Trump and saying it to an audience, people that isn't going to agree with him. Many of them are going to be sort of shocked to hear that he's saying this stuff, but it's spot on. But again, not in a political commentator effectively delivering a perfect argument type of way, but a guy who's not the most political, just sort of discussing his observation of American politics in a way that I think is... uh, is interesting, at least the clips that we've reviewed before and this new one here. And I did uh, find this because Ed Krasenstein posted, this is exactly why Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz will win in November. They are uplifting. If you don't get it, watch this by Colin Cowherd. And I'm gonna play this for you. This is what is gonna sink Trump. I really do believe it. The energy I keep talking about, a lot of it's the positivity. There's something we're opposed to in MAGA, but there's something we're so pumped to be for. And that's our vision for what comes post-victory. And we think anyone can be a part of that movement. And we're hopeful. And, and that positivity that all of a sudden exploded is devastating for the Trump campaign. And Colin Cowherd Again, not really doing a segment about politics, just casually mentions it in a way that makes this very point. Because it's an election year, and increasingly we're being fed doomsday scenarios, and people want to be happy. So people are putting down their phones and turning on something that makes them feel happy. Caitlin Clark, Copa America, the Summer Olympics. Americans are much more united than anybody on their iPhone would acknowledge, but that's hard to sell. We really all want the same things, but we watch different news channels for it. But people are tired of the angst. This weekend, I turned on CNN. Didn't didn't plan to, but they had a Kamala Harris special. It was like two hours. I didn't plan to watch it. But what I noticed between her and the other guy running is she smiled a lot. She was happy. She laughed. It wasn't constant finger pointing and grievance. And I found myself sitting there for two hours. It was kind of uplifting. It didn't really matter because I don't know much about Kamala Harris other than what I read, but it was like uplifting. And that's why I'm watching so much of the Olympics. And I watched so much of Copa and the Euros on Fox. Yesterday, I went, I went to lunch with my daughter. It was a nice day out. All I saw, young couples, smiles, dogs, fun, people laughing, playing ping pong outside. People were happy. You would never know that if you sit staring at your iPhone all day. Yeah, so a few things, and I'll play more of Colin Cowherd. But you see what I mean? As people, most of you, and definitely myself, um who are consumed by politics and I probably have to watch not the news that I'm consuming by reading for my actual understanding of the world, but instead just watching to prep for the show, more right-wing content to decipher what needs to be addressed. And because of that, I do sometimes forget or forget to put my mind on the positive beauty that's out there that people are experiencing because a lot of the media outlets, especially the MAGA ones, rely on selling people on the idea of a bunch of crises, on the idea, some of them real, to be clear, but of fear because without fear, there's no reason to vote for Trump. And so I do want to make sure we're mindful of not invalidating the pain and the darkness that's real in people's lives. But Colin Cowherd, in a very detached from politics in the way that we are type of way, is resonating with a really important part of this political moment, which is that one movement is selling a vision for what comes next that is bright, that is hopeful, 
that is unifying. And one movement is not. Trump's big, victorious goal, if he were to win, is retribution. That's not, that's not unifying. That's not hopeful. You can't feel <sighs> nice, deep breath, breath of fresh air about that. But the Harris Waltz campaign, something very different. And he even picked up on that just watching some special about Vice President Kamala Harris. She's laughing, which MAGA is saying they find horrible. <laughs> and Tim Waltz is a great example of someone who can just interact on a very authentic level with practically anyone, which brings him closer to, and Kamala Harris the same, it, they, they are brought closer to the people's lives and, and the things that matter. And that's going to be a huge thing in this election. And people don't want to be miserable. And so to be able to acknowledge the pain and the things wrong in this country, the injustices in across the world, while also promoting a vision that is hopeful, that's the winning ticket. To be able to oppose passionately and be sort of afraid of the Trump anti-democratic authoritarian ideology and to discuss what could happen if that were to win while saying, but if we win, here's a really hopeful, exciting, unifying next step. That's, that's a winner right there. And that's why we're seeing the excitement that we are about this candidacy. And the fact that even on a very basic level, just turning on the TV, Colin Cowherd is, is coming across that contrast is really, really interesting to me. If you appreciate this show and appreciate the work that goes into the needless usage of two camera angles and want to support the work we do, you can do so by clicking the subscribe button if you haven't already. Back to the video. And previously, he echoed a similar idea that we talked about. Happy people. Dodger Stadium's full. Leads Major League Baseball in attendance. Laker games are full. Uh, NFL games are full. People's got, they have money in their pocket. LAX is packed. I just saw a record airline uh, revenue over the weekend. I I'm, I'm constantly being sold in America by Donald Trump. Uh, crime rates are skyrocketing. No, they're actually not. Starting in 2023, they have plummeted coast to coast over 200 cities. Violent crime rates are down. I mean, Los Angeles and some cities. And then I'll show you a little bit more of this, but we covered it more extensively before. To conclude that I'm shady and involved in a business that's not uh, terribly legal. Well, Donald Trump is now a felon. His can oh, wait, this is the wrong part of the clip. I apologize. Um, but you get the point. The, the line I really liked was, he's selling us an idea of America that doesn't exist. And the MAGA movement just gave up completely on, on patriotism and loving the country. And we just need to strike a, a, an effective balance between celebrating the good things, not ignoring the positivity as he is definitely experiencing. I don't know if I'm seeing as much as him <laughs> in a lot of these different clips I've seen of him. He's saying, I just walk around and everyone's happy and smiling. I don't know about that. I haven't seen that completely, but also acknowledging the beauty while wanting better. And looking at the progress we made since the devastating crisis we were in just a few years ago without stopping uh, the progress going forward. But I think underlying this is something that we're going to look back on and say this was a part of the thing that, that caused the election to go the way that it did. I'm sorry, I just saw pop up as I just have a random tab open. Look at these lines for the Kamala Harris-Tim Waltz event. Goodness gracious. We already covered that in a different segment, but it is, it is some serious energy behind this. In part because people want hope. They want positivity as a part of the, of the message. And all Trump selling is this version of America that isn't accurate, but is so dark and so gross. And the only person who can save you from it is him. And I don't think that's what America's gonna choose in this moment, and that's awesome. Let me know what you thought of that in the comments. If you want to get extra content daily, you can do so by clicking the join button below.